All right, the Tekken patch 1.02 is live, and we now have the Tekken shop as well. Uh, but this patch wasn't really a balance patch. This was more so a patch to fix stuff. There's a lot of, like, interaction fixing. Fixing how moves work with other moves and how they interact with other moves. So it wasn't really the balance patch that I think a lot of people were hoping for. But somehow, Leroy and Yoshi took nerfs. Like, they, they got hit. Yoshi's flash combos got hit, I think. Uh, what did Leroy get hit with? I actually can't read this properly on my screen. Yeah, the knockback distance. That got hit with a nerf. I think Claudio as well. One of, one of his moves took a knockback nerf. Yeah, back three, too. So that you can actually punish the thing more easily. But overall... This was not really a balance patch. If you look at it, a lot of the stuff just says behavior, behavior, behavior. Now, some of this can be seen as buffs and nerfs, but they aren't exactly buffs and nerfs. Now, as for the bigger parts of this patch, cheaters, pluggers, and the Tekken shop. From what I've been seeing online, nothing seems to have been done about cheaters as much, and pluggers as well. They just have no punishment for plugging. And while I don't really mind the Tekken shop itself, I have a problem with it being prioritized over dealing with cheaters and pluggers. It is even mentioned in the patch itself. Like, where, where is it? High-ranking players who were reported multiple times and were found to have cheated were removed from the leaderboard and their ranks were reset to beginner. What exactly does that accomplish? Fuck all, basically. Cheaters... Sure, remove them from the leaderboard, but have them be in some kind of shadow ban state where they only get matched against other cheaters. As for the plugging, make them take a loss. Why do they not take a loss? Whoever was still in the match, just give them the win. Now, how easy or hard that would be to implement into the game, I don't really know, but that seems like a pretty simple solution overall. And honestly, Dealing with cheaters, pluggers, and, well, game balance in general, that should be priority, because I'm pretty sure if people see them actively trying to do something about this stuff, the people would be more supportive, in a sense, of the Tekken shop, or at least they won't mind it as much. Now, finally, we get to the Tekken shop itself. Again, I want to say that I don't mind the Tekken shop itself, but I do have a problem with some stuff here, and number one is the timing. Why was this not in the game from the start? Or why weren't we told about it beforehand? Because this showing up now just means that this shop, the microtransactions, all of this stuff, dodged every review. And that is pretty fucking scummy. On top of that, if this was in the game from the start, a lot of us who bought like Ultimate Deluxe Editions, whatever the fuck, we would have probably gotten Tekken coins with that to get one or two of these outfits. But overall, I would say as, just as the game by itself, what we bought, I would say... We did get value for money there, but again, it just feels scummy with how they've added this in now. Number two are the DMCAs and copy strikes. For those of you that don't know, modders that host these mods and stuff, they are being hit with DMCAs and people who uploaded videos showcasing these mods, they are being hit as well. <laughs> yeah, like, here we go. The video has been copy strike, copyright claimed. And the reason for that is because they can't sell you a Tag 2 June outfit if there's a mod that's there for free with a Tag 2 June outfit. But in all honesty, that just gives off a bad impression that it's like you're more actively focused on getting rid of mods so you can make more money instead of dealing with cheaters and pluggers and balancing the game more so that everyone who's playing the game has a best experience overall with the game. And I feel like one of the best ways to kind of get rid of mods is to just make them obsolete in a sense. And this is basically number three being tied in here of my problems with this stuff, and that involves customization in Tekken 8. These things here that we are buying, these outfits, these are cosmetics, it ties into customization. And the customization in Tekken 8 is kind of lacking. It's why a lot of people will still bring up Tekken 6 and Tag 2. Now I get it, it's a new engine and stuff, and it does mean that they've made stuff from scratch, and it does have more to offer than MK1 and Street Fighter 6, which is what people will bring up. But does it really? In MK1, you get a bunch of palette swaps, which means you're changing colors. In Street Fighter VI, you're changing colors. You buy this June outfit, your customization is limited to changing colors. Is there really a difference there? For example, I play a lot of Kazuya, right? If you change Kazuya's shirt, his gloves fuck off into the abyss, which to me makes this stuff have less value because it's a preset. 
And if that's all it is, then it's no different from what a mod, a mod is going to give you. Again, if the in-game stuff offered you more than a mod, you would be more inclined to buy it because you get more value out of it. So I feel like customization needs to be expanded on a bit more. And these preset outfits should just give you the individual pieces as well. Like pants, shirt, gloves should definitely be their own option as well. Like Tekken 6 cars here with the Tekken 8 gloves. Or if, if for example, I buy the Tekken 4 gin outfit. Why can't I mix and match his gloves and well, pieces of his outfit? Why can't I have the Tekken 4 gloves with his Tekken 7 jacket and his Tekken 8 pants or something? Now, will that eliminate mods completely? No, if you want like a half naked Nina with the tits out or something, you're, you're, not, you're not gonna find that in the Tekken store, although they would probably make a lot of money off of that within like an hour. If you want to be that degenerate, you'll need a mod. But again, if these presets just gave you the individual pieces as well, suddenly these have way more value because you get the full classic outfit and the ability to mix and match the outfit pieces. So again, I feel like customization needs to be expanded in this game. As it is right now, I feel these aren't worth it for me personally. Like, why would I buy this if I can't if I can't just swap around the pieces? Why can't I have Tekken 8 Jin with these gloves? And it, it just seems kind of odd as well, because from what I've heard, Soul Calibur has really good customization for stuff. And Soul Calibur and Tekken do kind of work closely sometimes. Like Yoshimitsu is as much a Tekken character as he is a Soul Calibur character. Victor, some of his moves are straight up from Soul Calibur games. I can't remember the character's name, but Victor has moves from a Soul Calibur character as well. So why not have some of the Soul Calibur team come and work on some of the customization in Tekken? But if customization gets expanded on, I would probably buy all of these outfits, honestly. And since we, I mentioned, well, buying stuff here, we need to talk about the prices. Now, realistically, they can charge us whatever the fuck they want to, because that's the reality we live in. Is it a good one? No. However, I will say the price here isn't awful. I just don't feel it's worth it because of limited customization. But these avatars should not cost the same as an outfit. You hardly ever see these little things. Like, who is sitting in Tekken Lounge just looking at their avatar? And if you are doing that, why are you doing that in the first place? <laughs> these should definitely cost less, like 300 Tekken coins max. And where are these stupid fireworks? These fireworks, these are literally just actual throwaway items. They are there for you to waste your extra Tekken coins on. Which brings me to the coin packs or bundles, whatever you want to call it. The lowest amount you can actually buy is 500 Tekken coins. And an outfit is 400 Tekken coins, which leaves you with 100 coins left over. It's a practice to get you to spend more money. You see this in gacha games as well. Thank God there's no gacha mechanics here. It's not like Dokkan where you have a chance to get the new LR or Legends where you have a chance to get the new Ultra unit or Genshin where you have a chance to get the new big booba waifu character, whatever. Here you buy your coins, you buy your outfit. That's the end of it. There's no chance involved. But microtransactions in general will always just be a point of contention for people. They are there's a lot of people out there that get addicted to them in gacha games and stuff. It's like gambling. There are people who flat out hate them and don't want them in their games at all. And there's people like me that don't really mind because it's an optional thing. Unless it's like super egregious and super aggressive monetization. Like I, if I remember right, Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross was like that. To me at least it seemed super fucking aggressive. And again, my problems lie with the timing of the Tekken shop, them going after modders when these outfits do not offer much more by comparison. And they should be going after cheaters and bluggers anyway. And of course, the customization just lacking in this game. But you guys let me know what you think about the Tekken shop and stuff in the comments. I'd love to hear if people have a different take on things or if you agree with me. Also, let me know what you guys think about the fact that we're going to have cheaters running around in beginner ranks now. Also, is that going to be like a once a month thing? Every time they update the game, they just take all the cheaters and put them back in beginner ranks and let everyone down there suffer. Also, do check out the community tab here on YouTube. I usually post stuff related to the videos, like the latest one there, I think, is a poll about the intro for the Tekken videos. Anyway, I need to go and edit some other stuff and then go play some more Lee like a dumbass in rank.